right to left leg around the right leg and sit back and sit prayer. We've done my
back up a little bit here. Whatever that is for you, just slightly up. And take the right hand from the floor, left arm up. Keep a microphone from your knees. Oh, the chest. Lower down and come up a little higher, roll onto the outer edges of your feet and drop into that left hip. Oh. You can reach over the head into the first Down and on the hip. to my coordination, all right? So no laughing. Everything about it, including this warm-up, is going to be challenging for me. Trying to move my hands and my feet at the same time is not something I am especially gifted at. It's why I love running, because I'm only moving my feet. But we're going to get some weights in today during our walk, which means that we've got to warm up those shoulders. So while we are walking, we're going to take it nice and big, with some arm circles forward and backwards. Trying to keep those legs moving nice and quickly, taking some nice deep breaths. I'm not counting exactly, I will be with the rest of the workout. <laughs> Once we pick up something heavy, I will try to be very careful about counting. But right now, we're gonna go about 20 times in both directions. Really wanna make sure that those shoulders are ready for it. Even if you have chosen a light weight today, like I did, we're gonna be carrying it the whole time. So I wanna make sure that we are ready and warmed up before we pick up something heavy. We've got a few more of these. Nice and big, really thinking about pulling in that core. Knees are coming high. Arms are getting really nice, full range of motion here. Elbows right next to your ears. Every time as much as possible, squeezing from those shoulder blades should feel like a really nice stretch in your chest as you're pulling back like that, and a really nice stretch in your back as you're pulling forward. We're also going to do, how oh, is more or less 20, some arm crossers. There we go, that feels like a really good stretch. Definitely getting warmed up already, that didn't take long, my heart rate has come up. Feeling good, feeling ready for it today. We are never going to move faster than this walking pace today for a couple of reasons. One, the one that I already mentioned about the coordination issues with me. Moving faster is not going to be helpful at all. And two, because I really wanted to make a dedicated 
walking workouts. Now I know I always call them, oh, indoor walking or running, and then I always run. So today is all about walking. Now if you happen to be coordinated enough to be able to run and do this too, well, well, good luck to you, my friend, because <laughs> I can't do it. This is more or less 20, and next up, we're gonna do some double knees. Again, really waking up those shoulders, and up, and up. There we go. Awesome. Getting a little bit of a twist, getting a little bit more high heart rate, still low impact. We are not doing any jumping at all today. Hello, Rosie. Rosie just thought she would come out and say hello. She's doing a lot of wondering today. I don't think she's going to like it when I got something heavy in my hands. There we go. You're doing awesome already. This is the last of what I consider our warm-up. I'm feeling pretty warm. How about you? When we finish up with these and a couple more, we're going to pick up those weights and we're going to start with just regular old walking. We're going to do plenty of walking in between each of our strength exercises, mostly just to give me a chance to figure out what we're doing next. Let's do two more on each side. There we go. Last one here and last one here. Awesome. Go ahead and grab those weights and then we're just going to get right into it. Your arms are still kind of swinging. Already feels like a little bit of biceps work. We're getting plenty of biceps work today. Here's what it looks like. We're going to take four steps and two punches for our first exercise. So it's walk, 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 punch, punch. Walk, 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 punch, punch. I'm not going to say it like that the whole time. Punch, punch. But I am going to have to stop and think. That was three. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. We're going to get to 20, by the way. There's 10. We're halfway done. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. Bye, Rosie. 19. Oh, you are going to hang out. And 20. Right back to walking. There we go. Awesome. And I'm saying that as much for my benefit as yours. You did great, but I am impressed that I made it through the first exercise. Now, next up, we're going to change directions a little bit. We're going to go from side to side. Lateral movements, always fun. We're going to take it into a little bit of a curtsy lunge as well as a fly. So, hands are going to be down at your sides. As we step back and curtsy, arms are going to come out more or less the letter T. This is where it starts to get heavy. So, curtsy and fly, and curtsy and fly. There's one. That's two. There's three. That's four. Yes, I'm counting the cruel way. I know. There's five. Six. Seven. That's eight. There's nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, there's 14, almost there, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and walk. Oh, mama, that got heavy, I know. Heart rate came up way high even without any jumping at all. That heart rate can really come up with walking and weights. All right, so our next exercise. By the way, I don't think I mentioned, we're doing 20 of everything because we're not repeating this circuit. 
and I've really only got a handful of exercises. So, I will have you know that you're doing a great job. Next up, we're going to take it forward and backward. And complicating matters is that we're going to press the weight up and down. So, here's what I want you to think about. Here's what I want myself to think about. We're going to step forward with your non-dominant leg. That's what makes this so tricky. So as we're stepping forward with that non-dominant leg, we're going to raise that same side arm in a press-up. For me, that means that both of them are non-dominant. For you, it might be that it's one dominant, one non. But stepping forward with the non-dominant leg is actually the thing that takes more coordination than the hand. So here's what it looks like. Forward, forward, back, 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 back. There we go. Three of them done. There's five. Seven. There's eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. And walk. Awesome! Okay, remember how I told you that I got these weights a little bit lighter than, rather than heavier? That's why. Oh my goodness. My arms, my shoulders, totally feeling this already. So hey, you know what? Let's balance it out with a little bit more booty work, all right? Here's what it looks like. We're going to do that forward and back thing again. Still stepping out with the non-dominant. I know, whenever I can, I try and squeeze in a little extra core work, a little extra coordination work, a little extra strength work, a little extra something. I know, I'm so sneaky. But here's what it looks like. I'm going to step forward with that non-dominant foot and then we're going to join it with the dominant. While we're up there, we're going to go ahead and squat. Then we're going to step back with the non-dominant foot and back with the dominant foot and squat while we're back here too. And guess what? That's one. So here we go. So forward, forward, squat, back, back, squat. There's one. Squat, two, three, Four, five, six, get trying to get low every time, seven, I know this got tough already, huh? Eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, nice and low, you're doing awesome, 17, 18, 19, 20 and walk. Awesome. All right, you guys. That was, well, that was kind of it. That was it for the main part of our walking workout. But you know what I've got for you? I've got one final thing. I've got a finisher. Now that our heart rate is nice and high, our arms are shaky, my legs are shaky, we're going to do a little bit of stability and balance work, too. Here's what it looks like. We're walking until I finish describing it. And then we're going to go directly into a single leg deadlift. Of course, I'm going to start on my left side, get that one over with. While we're down there, we're going to pull those dumbbells up into a row. So hands will be hanging down in front of us. And we're going to row them up to our armpits. 
that really got me screwed up there. Hang on, all right. <laughs> After that, on the left side, of course, we're going to do 20. Going to stand up quickly, change to the right side. That right side single leg deadlift. We're going to pull up into flies. So that's the one we're going out to the side. That one's super duper tough. So this is our finisher. You ready for it? Me too. Heart rate's high. Here's what we're going to do. Left leg down into that single leg deadlift. Row, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Stand up very quickly. Switch right to the right and fly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 